Okay, we're finally back after a, uh, well, it was a week-long hiatus, maybe more, because my parents were on vacation, and it's a pain in the butt to try and record stuff whenever your family's home. Anyway, the last episode, I lost my audio. This time it is recording audio, I made sure. Anyway, we basically woke up no annuals after venturing through the underground lake area to get the Dream Ruby, and now we will continue where we're supposed to go. I decided I'm gonna walk this time because I need some experience. So... Okay. Since I need the experience, I'm gonna walk. But basically what you wanna do... Can I complete my sentence? What you wanna do is go back down toward Romilly. Ugh, I hate all mirages put my entire party to sleep and I just got wailed on for a little bit. Luckily it was weak enemies. Anyway, you go south toward Romilly, but you don't actually go into Romilly. Okay, I think this Venom Toad is new, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'll show it anyway. Basically, it's as, it, as its name implies, it'll, it'll poison you, and it does it a lot. But, otherwise they're not that tough. See? Easy to kill. Anyway. Uh, I think I might... S I just say it, I was, might go back to Romilly and stay at the end. That way I don't have to... Anyway. Stay at the end. That way I don't have to walk around at night. Because... The enemies... Where we're heading... They're even tougher. All right, so just stay at the end. There we go. Fast forward for the win. Okay. Now, you head north, and then you head east through this forest. I mean, I think there's grass, but I'm just going to walk through the forest. Okay. Looks good. Oh, I've had a rappel on. I'm still getting a lot of random battles, though. Anyway, general rule of Dragon Quest. You cross a bridge, the enemies get tougher. That's why I didn't want to come at night. And they're already showing off how they're tougher. Okay, these uh, cat priors, they cast stop spell. So, you'll probably want to kill them quickly. Uh, the wild ape is basically just physical attack, so they're not too tough. Well, they are tough, but nothing spells can't handle. But I have to kill the cat priors before I stop spell. Of course they cast Stop Spell and it works. Well, I might as well just mash the attack button now. Since the two people with offensive spells are both silenced. Anyway. Not too tough, but annoying. Anyway, down here is where we want to go. Alright, this town is where we want to go. This is the town of Ashalon. Uh, this place has a un unique shop mechanic. Not all the shops are this way, but... When we talk to the shop... There's no price. What you have to do is you have to barter with them, but it's not a good idea to do so because even bartering, the items cost more than what they're actually worth if you wait to buy them. I want to say there's a tiny metal around here, but I'm not sure. Nope. I was thinking wrong. Uh, I think this shop is also another one. Yeah, another bartering one. Now, they have some decent equipment here, but like I said, you have to barter, and it's going to be more expensive than if you just wait to buy it. So, yeah. Alright, this shop's closed. Now, this town is one of the first places that's significantly different at a uh, night than it is day. So, let's see what they have here. Not, nothing too terribly helpful. 
Mm. Yeah, that's okay, but otherwise, nothing too terribly helpful. Now, like, now you do what you always do. Open doors. Search. Alright, moth powder. Um, there's a spell later in the game that will confuse your enemies, which makes them attack. That basically does exactly that. It's basically the confuse spell in item form. Not too helpful, though, so... The best thing to do is just sell it. Because it's worth a decent amount of money. Uh, I'll just sell the rest of my equipment real quick. Okay. I got rid of the hard heart because uh, I did some research on the personalities and what the silver rosary gives you, which is uh, romantic, is a little bit better for a balanced hero. I mean, the one I had was okay, but favored physical by a little bit, but I prefer having it all around here, so I'm going for whatever's going to balance my stats the most. Anyway, I would stay at the inn, but I'm going to walk around here until it's night time. So, it's getting close, but anyway, these enemies are a little tough, but really, nothing too bad. So, it's actually a good idea that I'm doing this, because it also gives me more experience, which I'm going to need. Uh, this cave, you can't do anything there. Anyway, that cave, you can't do anything there, but those wild apes, I think they can get a brutal hit. You can usually tell if they're going to because they'll do a little bit longer of an attack animation or an attack animation that's more, uh, violent to... Ugh. More violent to say the least. They also call for help, which is annoying. Okay, it's nighttime. Good. Now, new music. And it gets louder when you come in here. Which means the music's coming from there. It's just a little interesting thing. Uh, this guy was blocking his door, but now you can go in. I think. Yeah, he was. Get a token. Or a cheat ticket, whatever. I'm used to calling it by Game Boy Color names. Anyway. Now, this. what makes this place different at night? I can't go in there because you need a new key. This shop is open at night. And this shop has some has an iron axe, which is good for a hero, but I don't think it's really worth it. Otherwise, it's only so-so. Cell phone. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh. What's... Oh, no, I'm thinking of a different town where... Anyway. There. That's lots different at night. There's one shop open. So, we'll just rest up at the inn. Anyway. And then, where you want to go next... Is Southwest. Now, South... There's another shrine here. Which is another Pachisi track, and I got turned down because the music's loud. Uh, there's tiny metals somewhere around here, I think. Oh, speaking of. Yeah, there's one. Speaking of tiny metal, I actually missed one. Uh, in Noaniel's cave, there's a tiny metal. Um, you know. I think I'll go get that. I'll see you where you need to go to change your path to get it. Be right back. Oh, real quick. In, uh, no annuals. That one shop in Ashalam was selling a wizard staff. You can get it here for cheaper. We also have a decent, um, defensive item called the Cloak of Evasion. But, get, give it its name, you actually do avoid attacks more often. Actually, it's more like the enemies miss more often, but still, same thing. Uh... That's really good, and I don't want to pass it up, but I'll get one for my mage. Anyway. I'm going to sell and clean out my inventory, and then we'll go to Noaniel's Cave.
Anyway. I'll meet you where you're supposed to go in Noel's cave now. Okay, this uh, staircase area. You go down the right one. And this chest is the one that has the tiny metal. Alright. Now what we're going to do... Love that outside spell. We'll go back to Eliahan. Because I'm pretty sure at this moment we can get the next tiny metal reward. I haven't been keeping count of how many tiny metals I have. Like I said, I've probably missed some, but I'll just show the ones I know off the top of my head. And aside from that one, which is in the treasure chest, I'm not going to go back for any unless I absolutely have to. Twelve. Yep. The garter belt. It's an uh, interesting accessory. It's only we get the first boomerang that you can actually get relatively consistently. Anyway, this garter belt can only be equipped to females. Um, let's see. I don't know who to give it to, because I think I'll give it to my cleric. Alright, now, when you equip it, it will give your female characters the best personality in the whole game. Sexy. Dead serious, best personality in the whole game. Has the best stat gains of anything. Absolute zero drawbacks, and all the stats go up by more than they would normally. It's... You see, ordinary personality is your basic. All your stats have a gain of, quote, 100%, which means there's no penalties, but no bonuses either. Sexy has everything above 100, so Sexy's hands down the best personality in the game. Nothing else has all the things above 100. Anyway, I don't have enough to use return, so we'll have to use a warp wing. Anyway, I'll head on t into the next town. Actually, no, I was going to do the Pachise, that's right. Okay, apparently those cat pirates can uh, also brutally hit you. I did not know that. Anyway, I think we're almost out of time. So, in the next video, we will take on the Pachisi track of Ashalam. See you then.